Everything starts with this little axle, when suddenly a super fast sperm cell swims directly to it. When the two of them merge, they can become a so-called zygote, which grows into an embryo. Then some sort of magic happens, and this little cell grows into a strong human being called Lisa. This process raises many questions, however the most asked one remains, how does this magic happen? Well that is the question we are going to focus on right now. The process underlying this magic is called cell differentiation. The zygote that is formed by fusion of the egg and sperm cell starts to divide and ultimately becomes a blastocyst, containing both embryonic cells and placental cells. Finally, the embryonic cells will become more and more specialized, until they become blood cells, intestinal epithelial cells, fibroblasts, neuronal cells or even muscle cells. When all of these differenti differentiated cell types come together they form tissues, which in turn form a more complex system, us, humans. Formation from a zyko to a baby might sound simplistic, but one guy called Sir Conrad Hall Waddington decided to investigate it further and he created a model for cell development and differentiation called the Waddington landscape. On the top of the mountain there is the zygote, composed of cells that are totipotent, which means that they can still differentiate into both a baby and also the placenta as well as other structures involved in the development of a baby. These cells continue differentiation till they eventually reach the pluripotent stage and can only form tissues forming a human body. The cells then start to choose different paths and start to differentiate in tissue specific cells, like progenitor cells, for all different kind of blood cells. In this state, the cells are called multipotent. As you can see, they are racing to get to their one and final state. They are reaching their unipotent state, in which the cells can only serve as one cell type. The first cell reaching this state is the purple cell, which becomes a neuron. The second cell is the blue one, which differentiates into an ep intestine epithelial cell. Quickly after that, the yellow cell differentiates into a muscle cell, and it does not take much time for the red cell to develop into a red blood cell. Last but not least, the orange cell finally becomes a fibroblast. All these cells together makes us who we are, healthy human beings like Lisa. However, not everybody is equally healthy. Meet Anna. Anna has sickle cell anemia in which her blood cells have an altered shape. Using newly developed techniques called induced pluripotent cells or IPS cells, skin cells are removed from her body, these cells are then cultured in a petri dish and reprogramming factors are added. These factors cause the cells to go from their unipotent state to multipotent state and finally back to the pluripotent state. After the cells reach the pluripotent state, new factors are added that induce the pluripotent cells to become multipotent again. However, these factors also determine the tissue in which the pluripotent cells differentiate into. The pluripotent cells become multipotent and finally unipotent. The factors added in this experiment cause the IPS cells to become red blood cells. Let's look at this process in the Waddington landscape. The fibroblast is reprogrammed to become its precursor. The multipotent cell, this con cell continues to go backwards in differentiation until it reaches the pluripotent state. After the new factors are added, the IPS cells are driven back down the hill, but in a different slope they came out of. They are following the path that forms red blood cells. Finally, they, beco they become unipotent again. These newly formed red blood cells can now be transplanted into Anna. This is not used in the clinical environment yet, because it's a new technique and it's still very time consuming to produce IPS cells. However, this could mean that in the future hospitals won't have to rely on blood donations anymore and can grow their own blood cells to give to patients.